This man was taking a nap. A spider crawls into his pants and bites him on the thigh. He woke up instantly from the pain. He didn't realize that the spider was extremely poisonous. However, only a few seconds after being bitten, his body became abnormal and he had died. When his friends found out, they thought he had died of heat stroke, so they were going to take his body back to his hometown. The spider climbed into the coffin. The spider sucked all the man's blood on the way. When the coffin was delivered to the town, the collector opened it and found that the man had already turned into a dried up corpse. The spider crept out of the morgue. A crow passed by and picked it up as food, but the crow didn't get very far before it fell out of the air and hit the ground. The spider crawled and found itself a suitable home. And here it met the love of its life. He made it with her and produced a bunch of babies. Soon the warehouse was covered in webs. A terrible disaster was about to unfold in the town. Medical doctor, James Ross recently moved to a new home. His wife, Molly, found a giant spider web in the warehouse and thought it was something new. Not only did she not hide from it, but she took pictures of it with her camera. A few days later, the baby spiders emerged from their eggs. They spread around the warehouse. One of the spiders has its eye on the cat and is excited to go and have a feast. Luckily, the cat was taken away by its owner. Undeterred, the spider climbs onto the lampstand. It jumped onto the lady's hand when she wasn't looking, causing her to scream and died instantly. Doctors and police arrived at the scene and thought she had suffered a heart attack. So she was buried without an autopsy. A few days later, another spider came to the schoolyard and climbed into the player's helmet. The spider stung the player on the top of his head, as he was caught on a worse. As soon as the game started, a sharp pain shot through his brain and he instantly collapsed. Russ, as a temporary doctor, rushed to check on the player's condition. But it was too late. The spider's toxin travels too fast to give anyone else a chance to save him. Two strange deaths in a row made Ross suspicious. So he called the police and asked for an examination of the body. A beautiful woman was taking a bath, a spider crawled on the curtain and jumped on her face. Luckily, it was a shower and the spider was washed down the drain. But the other old man wasn't so lucky. The spider got into his shoe. As soon as the old man put his foot in the shoe, he was bitten by a spider. His wife said it was just a spider, so she didn't take it seriously. But the old man said the pain was like being stabbed with a sharp knife. After a while, he was in pain all over his body. His wife called an ambulance. By the time Ross arrived, the old man wasn't breathing. When they found out what happened, they found spider bites on the old man's toes. The police are finally taking the sudden death seriously. Blood tests showed that all three victims had an unknown toxin in their system. Ross took a closer look at the bodies and found bite marks on various parts of their bodies. But at this point, they didn't know the culprit was a spider. At the same time, the spiders began a massive invasion. A couple was eating popcorn. The spider crawled into the bowl, and the woman, unaware, grabbed the popcorn and threw it into her mouth. Within 10 minutes, they both stopped beating. Things were getting serious. Ross contacted Dr. James, who specializes in spiders. He came to town and dissected the spider, but found three green venom sacs inside the spider. Dr. James tested the venom on mice, and found that the mice also died instantly. It's a shock to everyone. The town was already overrun by spiders. At this rate, the whole country, not just the town, could be in danger of being overrun. Luckily, these hybrid spiders aren't fertile. All they need to do is find the first female spider and destroy it to stop the spiders from reproducing. The group went their separate ways. That's when Dr. James stumbled upon a photo of a very large spider web. He learned that it was Ross's house, so he decided to check it out. The female spider suddenly jumped on the man and bit him hard on the neck. The man was killed instantly. By the time the others arrived, the man's body had already been wrapped tightly in the spider's silk and become the spider's food. On the other hand, Ross came home and found spiders all over the room. They hid in the bathroom, but the spiders came in through the door. They could only escape through the window. Unfortunately, Ross accidentally fell from the second floor into the basement. He looks up and sees a giant spider's nest, and then a spider bigger than his feast was crawling towards him. He was so scared that he grabbed a shovel to defend himself. But the spider wasn't even afraid of him. He climbed right up onto the shovel. Ross was so thrilled that he threw the shovel at the electric box. The spider was electrocuted instantly. Then he found a lighter and some alcohol and tried to destroy the spider's nest. Suddenly, a giant mother spider appears. It scared the hell out of him. In the heat of the moment, Ross sprayed the spider in the basement with his flamethrower and set it on fire. Just as he let his guard down, the young spiders in the nest suddenly started to break out of their shells. And the big female is still alive and continues to lunge at Ross. In the nick of time, Ross picks up a nail shooter on the ground and shoots a nail that accidentally hit the mother spider onto the nest. 
The fire started instantly, causing all the eggs to explode. Over the next few days, people used insecticide to exterminate all the spiders in the town. The spider crisis was finally solved.